Hi, I'm Rhiannon and I'm here to talk to you about choosing lining and interfacing. Interfacing goes in between layers of fabric and adds structure and strength to your sewing project. You can use it throughout the whole garment or just certain parts like a collar or neckline, the area around buttons or in a coat or handbag. Lining is more decorative and goes inside the garment, but it also has functional purposes. It provides structure, hides any loose threads, seams and darts, creates a barrier between your skin and the outer layer, making them more comfortable to wear, and stops too much light from shining through sheer fabrics. The first thing you want to think about are the materials you'll be using. There are three types of interfacing, and which one you choose depends on the material you're sewing with. Make sure you pick the right one, otherwise your project may not work out. Woven interfacing has a grain line or a bias, so you should make sure the grain line travels in the same direction as your fabric's grain before you cut. Non-woven interfacing doesn't have a grain line, so you can position it in any direction. Knitted interfacing has a bit of stretch to it, which is great if you're using knitted or jersey fabrics. Next, think about the different methods of applying interfacing. You can attach interfacing to the wrong side of the fabric using a couple of methods, iron-on or sew-in. And the method you choose will be indicated on your interfacing's bolt if you're buying it off the roll or indicated on its packet if you're buying it pre-cut. As the name suggests, you should use an iron to secure a piece of interfacing to your pattern pieces. The heat of the iron melts the tiny glue dots in the interfacing, which stiffens slightly as it cools. Iron-on interfacing is sometimes called fusible. Place a piece of scrap fabric or a pressing cloth between the iron and your interfacing so you don't end up with a hot, sticky mess on your iron. Sew in. Again, this name is self-explanatory. Cut a piece of interfacing the same size and shape as your pattern piece and sew it in. Depending on your pattern, you may need to sew the interfacing at the same time as the outer fabrics to avoid visible seams. Sew in interfacing is sometimes called non-fusible as it's not actually stuck to the fabric. Interfacing can be lightweight, medium or heavy. Choose the weight based on the desired result. Stiffer interfacing will create rigid panels and lightweight interfacing will add body to your fabric. The material you choose for your lining depends on the look you're trying to achieve. Even though the lining will be hidden most of the time, choosing the right colour and fabric can add a nice finishing touch to your project. Plain rayon is a common choice for lining as it doesn't create static and keeps your clothing breathable and feels smooth and silky against the skin. Acetate or BEM silk is a natural pulp-based fabric that comes from cellulose and is made using a chemical process. Acetate often has a shiny surface that looks just like silk. Compared to polyester, acetate drapes really well and is faster drying and much more breathable. It's also resistant to wrinkles and shrinkage. Our acetate is often dry clean only, so check the end of the fabric's bolt to see the care instructions for the finished garment. Polyester is good value and more durable than acetate. It also comes in a huge range of colours. If you're using polyester for lining, choose from our pongee range. Stretch lining is perfect for sewing with stretch or knit materials, or when you need the final garment to have some movement. Spotlight offers a knit lining that has a natural stretch, as well as an anti-static woven lining that contains spandex. The amount and type of lining you require will depend on whether the garment is loose lined or the lining is sewn in at all points. If you're using a pattern, check the packet or instructions for information on how much lining you need. Need help choosing the right interfacing or lining for your specific project? Head to spotlightstores.com or visit us in-store to chat with a team member. Happy sewing!